YouTube. Feature 22 J is back at you with another video. The shoe that I have for you guys today is a shoe that had the internet talking for a couple of weeks. Now that the shoe is finally released, it's kind of died down, but there's this big question mark when it comes down to this shoe that a lot of people would like to answer. So before we get into it, I would like for you guys to stop, take the time out, drop a like on this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Trade Block at Future 22 J. Is. Now, getting into it, as you guys can see, we have a very big blue Nike box. Now, this is a collaboration with the Cactus Plant Flea Market. Cactus Plant Flea Market is a clothing brand. They were founded back in 2015, and they are very much known for their rather outlandish designs. And this one is no exception. So, label reads, Nike CPFM Air Flea 2. The colorway is black alabaster. You open the box, as you guys look, it comes with a yellow dust bag that has Nike Air Flea 2 on CPFM logo. This isn't no print. This is a full blown embroidery. And here we have the Nike Air Flea 2. This shoe is one of those kind of trendy shoes that has been going viral on Instagram. It's no secret that Cactus Plant Flea Market gives a lot of crazy designs when it comes down to their clothing and their shoes. They have a pretty decent amount of Nike collabs over the years and this is their latest one with the Flea 2. Now, I'm not sure what the inspiration is behind this shoe. I do have a massive of respect for them because they aren't scared of bringing anything to life. This shoe feels like a rubber tire at the bottom. Now this outsole looks like that it has a lot of traction to it so I don't think you will slip basically covering up a third of the entire shoe with the outsole alone. At the bottom of it has the outline of a footprint. It doesn't have any laces. It does have adjustable straps so that you can fit it to your liking. Have a lot of buttons across the strap so that you can give somewhat of a customization option to your shoe. Of course they come with this big Nike swoosh and they also come with some pins what looks to be two Nike signs a yin yang sign and two little what it looks like yes, these are bugs they have the Nike Air and the Flea logo on the top of the tongue they have the left on the insole of one shoe and they have the right on the insole of the other shoe because a lot of times the shoes that they drop the Flea 1 which was that shoe that had all of that green fur around the top if you guys remember I have the review up for that if you guys haven't seen it basically come looking like you can't tell which which shoe go on the left and which shoe go on the right. On the back heel, we have two tongue tags. There's no telling why two tongue tags are there. This is the alabaster colorway. They also came in the faded spruce colorway, which is the same shoe, but the top part is more like of an olive green color. So in the comment section below, you guys let me know, are you a fan of these? Now, me personally, I think this shoe is absolutely trash. I wouldn't make an effort to put my foot in it whatsoever, but at the same time, there's a lot of people that like to have these type of shoes so that they can stand out and most importantly, have something that a lot of other people don't have. Another reason why this shoe was being talked about all over social media was the size of discrepancy that was going on based on the viral video that was going around. I'm not sure who the guy was. I don't know what page is on. If I find it, I'll put it up on screen for you, but it basically went down as a guy that naturally wears a size 13 shoe had on a pair of these in a size 10 and a half. He was essentially saying that even though this shoe was a 10 and a half and he wears a size 13, it'll fit. Everyone that I know that copped this shoe says that it fits true to size. So I will say that it definitely looks comfortable and it definitely looks like it's going to last you forever. You live in an area where you get a lot of snow or a lot of rain. This really looks like it can get you through there, no lie. Now, I'm not a big fan of it, but a lot of people are. So in the comment section below, you guys, let me know, did you make a play for this shoe? Now, the one thing that I will say, if you want their shoes, you have to go on and jump on it as soon as possible. Every last single Cactus Plant Fleet market shoe is on the better end of touching maybe a thousand dollars plus on the resale market. These haven't hit that just yet. They are pretty widely available and they also released in two different colorways so they'll probably saturate it down just for a little minute. Cactus Plant Flea Market is a very rare and distinctive brand so if you're a fan of it and you guys know what they do, I highly suggest you go on and grab them right now. So that sums up the review. My name is Future22JS and if you don't know, please know that is no ceiling to your inner potential. This was my review of the Nike CPFM Cactus Flea 2. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Be sure to dream with your eyes open and always remember that your fear ends when your faith begins. Peace.